So drawing uh, loci, pathological objects, drawing things accurately. Uh, just a quick reminder of a couple of key ideas. So we might have been asked, for example, here to draw an angle of 30 degrees using a pair of compasses, ruler and pencil only. So they're kind of shouting out at you, don't try and use a protractor. So I'd start off with a straight line. And it doesn't matter how long it is because all I want to do is create a 60 degree angle um, because I know the shape of an equilateral triangle will do that for us. So I create an equilateral triangle by making the compasses have the same length as the length of the line. Uh, draw my arc above, draw my arc that crosses, and in doing that, then I can join together. And that will make from one end of the line to there. Because that's the side of an equilateral triangle, then this angle here will be 60 degrees. Because it says it wants us to, to draw a 30 degrees angle, the question, then it's telling us to split this angle in half. So we would draw an angle bisector. So because we want to split an angle in half, it's called an angle bisector equal halves. Now to draw an angle bisector, if you remember, we get a compass and we open up any distance that's comfortable and we draw some arcs through the two lines that uh, meet to make the angle and where the two um, arcs cross the uh, straight lines that made the angle, we then draw two more arcs somewhere in the middle of where the angle is so that we can get two arcs to cross each other and that then gives us our construction lines that allows us to draw from the centre of the angle through the two cross points to give us our 30 degree angle. So 30 degrees there. If I get my protractor I can obviously check that that's worked. So 60 degrees was the original angle by doing the two arcs for the side of the equilateral triangle and the angle bisector at 30 degrees. So we've cut this at 30 degrees. Now, a typical exam question that involves constructions and loci uh, is something like this. So we've got here a rectangular garden, and they're going to give us some conditions to work with. So we look through the conditions and decide what each of them are telling us. Well, the first thing to notice is there's a scale. So we're going to be using one centimetre to represent any metres that they give us in the question. So, for example, the first part here says that the tree, so we're planting the tree in this garden, uh, the tree has to be at least five metres from the point C. Now, the point C is just one point mentioned. Uh, when we get to the stage of recognising in a part in a part of the question where the same one point is mentioned, then it's telling you to draw a circle. And because they're telling us it's five meters, then the radius of that circle is going to equal five centimeters. And it's from the point C. So the first thing we need to do is we get our ruler and we measure five centimeters and we draw a circle from the point C. Now, because the tree is inside the garden, then we don't actually end up drawing the whole circle. But in essence, that's what we're doing. We're drawing a circle to show that anything in here is within five meters. So anything in this bit here is within five meters. I'll see. Anything out here is beyond five meters. So that's basically why we're drawing this construction line here. It's going to separate the boundary, anything in here within five meters, anything out here outside five meters. The next part of the question says that we want to be nearer to AB than to AD. Now this part, it's mentioned two lines, AB, AD. Those two lines, let's have a look where they are. Well, AB, AD. So those two lines are meeting to create an angle. And we want to be nearer to one of these lines. So we need the boundary. So we need to know where that boundary is. So anything in here is nearer to AB. Anything over here is not. So it's an angle. We want to cut it in half. 
so again it's going to be an angle bisector we draw. So again we get our compasses open at a comfortable distance, draw some arcs through the two lines, so the line AD and the line AB. That um, allows us to get our points now where the arcs cross the lines themselves to draw our arcs inside the shape to decide where our construction line has to go to the boundary of the angle. So because we don't know where this tree is going to be yet, we draw all the way across the shape through there. So basically then, anything over here is nearer to AB, anything down here is nearer to AD. So we're kind of getting a feel for where this tree is going to be. It's going to be over here somewhere. And it says it's got to be at least five meters from point C. So it says it's got to be at least five meters from point C. So we're recognizing the tree is going to be in here somewhere because it's got to be greater than five meters, but it's also got to be nearer to AB. But in this question, they gave a, second, a third condition. It has to be less than three meters from DC. Now, DC is a single line. Now, when you're asked to work with a single line and the position of things in a loci question, they're asking you to draw a parallel line. So that's got to be three centimeters because of the scale. One centimeter represents a meter, three meters. So we want to draw a parallel line to this line here. Now the quick way of doing that, which you can get away with in exams, is if you draw with your ruler, three centimeters, three centimeters from the line DC, do that couple of times to get your line up then we can literally draw across the rectangle and this is our three centimeter line so anything here is three meters now the question says that we've got to be less than three meters so that means we've got to be down here somewhere so let's go through the conditions it has to be at least five meters from point C so that means we're over here somewhere. It's saying we have to be nearer to AB, so we have to be over here somewhere. And then it's saying we have to be less than three meters, so we have to be down here somewhere. So the question's asking us to shade this part of the picture. So this is the part of the garden where the tree can be planted. It's more than five meters from C, it's nearer to AB than AD, and it's within three meters of DC. So we've met all these conditions. So as usual, we should tick off everything to make sure we've done it all. So we've shaded. So we've done at least five meters. We've got nearer to AB than AD. We've gone less than three meters from DC, and we've shaded the region they actually wanted. So that should give us all the marks. That's how that kind of question can be done, guys. Low-kind constructions. Practice them.